Are you a Senra? You must be Gamlin's niece. Interesting. I don't know what he told you about us, but he certainly told us a great deal about you. Uh, how much exactly? Enough to pique our interest, provided you can justify your uncle's confidence. I hear getting us into the city isn't cheap. If you're as good as your uncle claims, we're hoping you'll be worth it. After all, it's not every day we're offered an apostate services. I didn't realize Gamlin had told you that much. The Templars in Kirkwall like to think they have all mages properly leashed, but when has that ever been true? We can keep them from taking notice while you're with us. Wouldn't be the first time. I'd like to know more about what we'd be doing for you. I can be honest. We don't compete with the Thieves Guild, but we keep our fingers in a lot of pots. That said, we're not killers or slavers. Anything short of that, however, is fair game. Do what you want, but this sounds fishy to me. Begging and taking your pick never went hand in hand. How did you get to be one of my uncle's contacts? Is that what he calls me? He owes us after that last big idea. If you turn out, though, we'll consider things even. Tell me what you need done. There's a merchant named Cavril, friend of the Templars. So they let him set up his little shop here in the Gallows. We supplied him in return for a piece of the take, but now he won't pay up. We can't go near him without him screaming for the guard, but you can. Get our money from him and you're in. I've already told you. I can't give you any more for them. But that was everything we have. It's all we brought with us. And I feel for you, Sarah, but it's the best I can do. If they just let us into the city, I could get three times that price. <sighs> Myron? Your business is done. But... Oh. Now then, what can I do for you, Sarah? I believe you owe your business partners something. Oh, I see. Should I go tell the guards? Not just yet. I want to hear this. So, Ethenril sent you to collect, did she? Too cowardly to do it herself. Care to step in here? Only because this toad deserves it. You have a choice. Pay, or I beat it out of you, and your men. Hey! Stay back. Just uh, take what's in the chest. Take it all. Now I'm getting out of here. Let those guards find someone else to buy Dogland junk. All set. Here you go. As requested. Will you look at that? Tell your uncle we'll make the arrangements. Welcome aboard. Any luck? Yes. They've agreed to help us. I'll speak to Athenril and see when the bribes can be made. Wait here. I guess we did it. We're here to stay, at least for a while. The blight may still spread, but for now we have a new home. If only Bethany were here with us. And Wesley. Let's just see what happens. We have a long year ahead of us.
Thus began the champion's first year in Kirkwall. Word arrived from across the sea that the hero of Ferelden had defeated the Blight. But Lothering was destroyed. Kirkwall was the champion's home now. So she remained, paying off her debt. Made a name for herself in the underworld. It was a busy year in the city. That's when the Kunari landed. A great storm had caught their ship and left hundreds of warriors stranded in the city, waiting to return home. That's also when the trouble began with the mages. The Templars had become very powerful under Knight Commander Meredith. But, most importantly, that's when I first met the champion. No! Andraste's tits, human. You know how many people want to hire onto this expedition? Look, we know you're going into the deep roads. You'll need to hire the best, and we're... No! You're too late. Already done. The money from this trip could fix everything. You need us. We've fought Darkspawn. Look, precious. I don't care if you tore the horns off an ogre with your bare hands. You make him understand. We're running from your bloody Templars. I know how you feel. But we'll earn no favors with your fist in his face. Then we do nothing. As always. <laughs> My brother can be hot-headed. But we do have the skills to benefit your expedition. You're looking for a quick way out of the slums, right? You and every other Ferelden in this dump. Find another meal ticket. Well, back to waiting for someone to turn us in. You can relax. After all, the Templars dogging us are mine. Did I sound that bad? Maker, I'm turning into Gamlin. Gamlin? He's got a head for this garbage. Maybe he can talk to Bartran. He knows some people. After last week, we need all the coin and influence we can get. He got us into the city, more or less. If there's a chance, he can push Bartrand. Worth checking, I guess. What else can we do? We're losing ground, and I don't fancy waking up in the gallows. Every coin out of your pockets just by smiling at you. But you, you don't have the style to work high down, let alone the merchant's guild. Might want to find yourself a new line of work. <laughs> Off you go. <laughs> How do you do? Varric Tethras, at your service. I apologize for Bartrand. He wouldn't know an opportunity if it hit him square in the jaw. But you would. I would. What my brother doesn't realize is that we need someone like you. He would never admit it either. He's too proud. I, however, am quite practical. What makes you so certain we can help? You know nothing about us. Oh, on the contrary. You've made quite the name for yourself over the last year. The Coterie has been squeezing smugglers out left and right, and the only group to survive owes it all to you two. The name Hawk is on many lips these days. Not bad for a Ferelden fresh off the boat. You're part of Bartran's venture. That's right. The Deep Roads wouldn't normally be my thing, but I can't allow the head of our family to go down there alone. 
So as you might imagine, I have more than a passing interest in this expedition's success. There must be some way to persuade your brother to hire us on. We don't need another hireling. We need a partner. The truth is, Bartran's been tearing his beard out trying to fund this on his own, but he can't do it. Invest in the expedition. Fifty sovereigns and he can't refuse. Not with me there to vouch for you. Your brother doesn't seem like the sort who's willing to split profits. My brother is many things, but he is not stupid. Far better to share the profits than be trapped in a tag with a thousand dark spawn between you and the exit. Trust me, he'll come around. Why would you stick your neck out for a complete stranger? I'd rather take a chance on someone with your reputation than head into the deep roads unprepared. And besides, we'd be your partners. I'm willing to give a little trust if you are. It sounds interesting. But if I had any gold, I wouldn't need this job. You need to think big. There's only a brief window after a blight when the deep roads won't be crawling with Darkspawn. The treasure you find down there could set you and your family up for life. Come on. The dwarf makes some sense. No offense. Look, you started this, and it's a good idea. Certainly better than ending up in the gallows. We work together, you and I, and before you know it, you'll have all the capital you need. What do you say? You have a deal. Perfect. Kirkwell's crawling with work. You set aside some coin from every job, and you'll have the money in no time. Sure. Easy. But... Maybe Aveline's got some bounties out. She joined the city guard, right? We should talk privately when you get the chance. In the Hanged Man, maybe. I'll be there when I'm not with you. Now, let's go see what trouble we can stir up. We're cut for... Hanged when you're done? Absolutely. See you there. Ah, long time no see, my friend. Worthy. When did you get back into town? Oh, just a month or so ago. Things didn't work out in Orzammar. You aren't still working for Athenral, are you? Your year must be up by now. I'm looking to become an explorer of a sort. I heard. Bartran's hard to take, but his information is usually good. Hard to take? <laughs> That's putting it mildly. I'll tell you what. I still have my old contacts. You need some rune crafting done, I can arrange it for you. Take care, Hawk. Don't get dead. You know, Junior, it's how much resemblance there is between you two. She's my sister. Of course there's a resemblance. Oh, you thought I meant Hawk. I was talking about Gamlin. Make her I hate you, dwarf. Sebastian, stop this madness. The Chantry cannot condone revenge, Sebastian. It is my right, my duty, to show these assassins there is nowhere in the free marches to hide. This is murder. No. What happened to my family was murder. Good day to you.
Aveline. Hello, Hawk. Been a while, hasn't it? What? Oh, right. Sorry. It feels like we just talked. I've been keeping an eye on you. Information is one of the few perks of this job. Watch out for Bartrand. He's a son of a bitch. You know I don't like it when you have people watch me. Saved me camping on your doorstep. After what we went through to get here, I... Well, you're no child, but I take care of my friends. The places they have me patrolling, I've got time. Still having trouble? I thought you were past all that. Lately, I don't know. I've been pushed out to some dead patrols. Maybe I stepped on someone's toes. You can be... forceful. My charm, right? I should be able to go where I'm needed. In fact, I might have a job for you. Let me know if you want to do a favor for Kirkwall. Otherwise, I'm here if you need me. Maker knows I could use more satisfying work. Seems like Kirkwall suits you. It has been a challenge. Lots of opportunity, if you're the type the locals want. Are you? If you argue enough, you kind of convince yourself. It's been a year settling in. Are you all right? You don't need to coddle me. I am where I am. How close I hold my memories is my own business. This must be a very different pace from serving King Kaelin. It's just one more change, though. The real end for me was Ostagar. What about you, Carver? You were there. Do you feel something similar? No. All right, then. Bit of a tit, your brother. All right, Aveline. You have something worth doing? My patrols may be empty walks in the dark, but there's something big coming up, and I could use you. An ambush, probably for a caravan, although I can't find any shipments that match up. Doesn't matter, though. High women waiting for someone to rob. I'm putting a stop to it, my district or not. I'm no guard, Evelyn. There's only so many of us. Temporary recruits are expected time to time, as long as they're competent. You still claim to be competent, right? Aveline, you've got yourself a partner. I knew I could count on you. They're hidden up Sundermount, remote and rough, but we can make good time with a shortcut this side. And no, you can't run off and do it without me. I trust you, but I have to be there. You're acting on behalf of the guard. 